This is the scene of a NATO airstrike. Overnight, five vehicles were struck. Unfortunately, they were rebel vehicles. We were just filming a scene of the accidental NATO airstrike on rebel forces when it was clear Gaddafi's troops could see us. They brought in extremely accurate rocket and artillery fire on our position. The rebels hit back with their rocket-propelled grenades and machine guns, but they were firing into the desert. Nobody had any idea where that came from. The rebels blamed themselves for the airstrike. Overnight, one of their own fighters fired into the sky with an anti-aircraft gun during a NATO sortie above Brega. He was mistaken for Gaddafi's forces by a coalition pilot. Fourteen people, including the crew of an ambulance, were killed. Their opponents are keen to exploit this sort of confusion on the ground. Gaddafi's people drag us forward and drag us back. When we go back, they attack us. Just back from the front line, the rebels struggle to contain their own people. Fighters squabble over who gets to join the battle. A civilian from Brega is persuaded that this is not the time to go back home. Any unfamiliar vehicle emerging from the direction of Brega is forced off the road. We have caught a lot of the traitors and we've, sent, uh, we've caught them and caught them back and sent them back to Benghazi. We had orders to head forward now. OK, good luck. As the front lines solidify, Gaddafi's experienced troops can be expected to switch tactics. They will sow more violence and chaos deeper into rebel territory. Sam Kiley, Sky News, Brega.